Hey folks, Monty Moonlight here, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about monster cereals. It's Halloween time, and I thought, now is the time for me to finally get out that little rant I've wanted to make for the past two years about these annual re-releases of the monster cereals. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the monster cereals, but um, mainly we're going to talk about something that happened about two years ago when they re-released all of five of the original monster cereals but uh, we'll get to that in a minute first I would like to say a couple of things one um, I had been talking about Wizard World Austin Wizard World Texas that is happening at the end of this month and I had been talking about how the Moonlight Motel was gonna have a table at Wizard World Austin and uh, I just wanted to say we're now postponing that till next year for various reasons. One reason is I'd like to attempt to get my graphic novel done by then. Uh, at the very least I'd like to have some good art prints and various other things available for those who come to the table. So yeah we're gonna postpone our our appearance at uh, Wizard World for for one year. Hopefully they will be ready by then or won't have to be another uh, longer postponement. But yeah uh, I think a year should do it. We should be there next year. Um, this year we will not be there. And sadly I'm too broke to just go check things out myself too. But hopefully next year. And uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and I was going to go out uh, and get a Halloween burger. A Halloween Whopper to talk to you guys about uh, today. And uh, everywhere I've gone says they're sold out. So, I don't know, uh, I don't know if that was like a one day or a one week promotion or what, but I, I have been hearing that those Halloween Whoppers sold out fast. I have no idea why they haven't been getting more of them, but uh, I guess uh, no Halloween Whopper review. Um, what I'm going to do today is, like I said, I'm going to have my little rant about these uh, monster cereals. And uh, let me get this... Uh, this out of the way. These are some bowls. These are great cereal bowls. I've got like four of them and I got these at uh, Target but they were releasing like one every year and uh, uh, the past few years they haven't released any which is kinda sad because they're great cereal bowls. I love to get my monster cereals every year these three monster cereals to uh, watch Halloween cartoons with. I'll watch Halloween specials with my bowl of monster cereal or I'll watch my DVDs of uh, Casper cartoons or uh, the real Ghostbusters, whatever. And uh, it's really nostalgic for me. I enjoy that. I mean, I watch cartoons and eat kids cereal all the time. But, uh, you know, you only get these monster cereals uh, once a year, sadly. That's something I'm not thrilled about, if you, if you want to call that the beginning of my little rant. Um, I used to love these cereals, and now I can only get them during October and that sucks but uh, thank goodness they're at least giving them to us once a year and not just cutting them out altogether. so uh, these are the three monster cereals you're probably really familiar with Boo Berry, Count Chocula and Frankenberry and these cereals came out in the early 70s now myself I was born in the uh, mid 70s 1975 and uh, I grew up throughout the 80s with these cereals readily on the shelf all year round. Um, the original, the originals were Count Chocula and Frankenberry. Booberry came along shortly after that. And then we had a werewolf cereal called Fruit Brute. I'll show you uh, my framed Fruit Brute box uh, in a little while. And, uh, and a mummy cereal came along in the 90s. Um, Fruit Brute got discontinued in uh, early 80s, and then in the 90s they came along with Yummy Mummy, which was another fruit-flavored cereal. And uh, that's a huge part of the rant I'm going to go into. I know I had cereal bowls here, and here I've got the cereal, and you're probably expecting me to taste the cereal and tell you uh, whether I like it or not. But I'm not going to do that because you can find a lot of videos right now where people do that, and I can tell you right now, I, I love these cereals. I enjoy them every year, but one of the things I want to rant about is that these cereals do not taste the same as they originally did. They, they don't even have the same textures that they originally had. 
and I've come to terms with that, but um, they did used to be better. They used to taste better. The textures used to be better. Uh, I've got uh, this picture up behind uh, on the screen behind the cereal. Let me show this to you. You can see the uh, Frankenberry cereal. And uh, if you look, this is like the original Frankenberry cereal. And you'll see that the, the cereal pieces are not ghost shapes. They're more like little wagon wheel type shapes. And uh, <clears throat> I have a cold right now, uh, so I'm talking is difficult. But uh, these, um, these little shapes here, the texture was very different on these. They, they were a little lighter, they weren't as hard. And, you know, now everything is trying to be like... Uh, a little bit healthier, I guess, and um, maybe they've got better ingredients now in uh, the cereal pieces, but they, they used to be better. Everything used to taste better, and uh, kids' cereal definitely used to be better. You can really notice the difference in stuff like uh, Cookie Crisp, and, uh, you know, even, you know, Lucky Charms has mostly stayed the same. The cereal pieces might be a little harder now. I think these cereal pieces are harder. Uh, the marshmallows, thankfully, always have tasted the same. Um, they used to be uh, just, as you'll see there, Frankenberry, the, all the cereal is pink, all the marshmallow pieces are pink. Now they're kind of multicolored. Fruit Root cereal used to be a little bit multicolored. Uh, yummy Mummy, but not, uh, not these guys. Uh, they didn't used to worry about shapes or anything. It was diamond-shaped marshmallows and just those wagon wheel pieces. And it was better tasting cereal. And what bugs me now is um, over the past few years, you have a lot of people on YouTube doing taste tests of these cereals. And that's fine. But uh, they'll, they'll get a bowl of uh, Count Chocula, for example, and they'll pour a bowl and have it. And they'll be like, let's find out why people used to love this so much and why they still love it. And the thing is, you're not tasting Count Chocula, you're tasting like a new Count Chocula, you're tasting a new Frankenberry, a new Booberry. They, the flavors are, are kind of the same, but they're not as, as, as they used to be and uh, not quite the same. And uh, more importantly, the texture is very different, and that makes a big difference with cereal. I think these cereal pieces are a little harder. Now, maybe these are not as bad for you, maybe there was a lot of really bad stuff in the old cereals, but... Uh, I think there was some controversy early on about Frankenberry having a dye that was turning uh, the kids' poop pink. I just found out about that, actually, and apparently they, they had to change it. But Booberry, Booberry still turns your poop green, so I don't know what the big deal is. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm not going to try these. I'm going to tell you right now, they're still good. I still like them. Uh, Frankenberry's delicious. Uh, Count Chocula's delicious. Booberry's good. It's pretty good. Some people like Booberry more than others, and uh, I still like it. Um, I prefer the other two a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I uh, love these cereals. And uh, now I'm going to show you the uh, other two cereals on my wall. Okay, up here we have my uh, five boxes of framed monster cereals, and these are not the original boxes. These are from about two Halloweens ago. I think it was like 2013, and uh, they had released these retro boxes at Target because Target always has their own exclusive boxes of the monster cereals and a lot of other cereals, a lot of retro boxes. And this was a particular year that they announced. We're bringing back Fruit Brute. We're bringing back Fruity Yummy Mummy uh, for all you who missed it. And uh, I grabbed a box of each to frame. I, I had to cut the backs of the boxes out to get them in these frames. But uh, I did that, and there they are. And I was immediately disappointed in the bring back of Fruity Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brute. So let me go into that. Um, let me get a closer shot. Number one. Fruit Brute. Fruit Brute is not spelled the way it used to be spelled. It used to be spelled F-R-U-I-T. Now they've changed it to match Brute. I have no idea what that is about. Um, yummy Mummy, I guess, basically looks the same. Fruit Brute cereal, um, I guess, it basically looks the same. It used to have um, green marshmallows also. It doesn't have that anymore, and there's a reason for that. Let me give you a close-up here. Cherry flavor? 
And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but Yummy Mummy says it's orange cream flavor. That is a new thing. Now, it doesn't matter now because you can't get these now, but for that one Halloween, they were bragging about how they were bringing back Fruit Brut and Fruity Yummy Mummy, and we did not get them back, not really. Uh, Fruit Brut was not cherry flavored. Yummy Mummy was not orange cream flavored in the original releases. They were just fruit flavored. And they had a unique taste. I don't remember Yummy Mummy as much, even though it was from the 90s. I was like five years old when I would eat Fruit Brut, but I remember that flavor to this day, and it was good stuff. This Fruit Brut is not that Fruit Brut. This was cherry flavored. That Yummy Mummy there, it did taste like orange cream. And they were not inedible. But they were not the originals by any means, and I was so disappointed because I've wanted to taste Fruit Brut again since I was five years old, you know. They discontinued it when I was like seven, and I'm not sure I even got to taste it very many times, but I never forgot the taste of that cereal. I mean, come on, it's a cereal with a werewolf on there. Thank goodness Cookie Crisp has a wolf, somebody there for me to look at, look up to on cereal boxes, but, you know... I really missed Fruit Brute, and I was so excited, and I am really disappointed in General Mills for uh, this release. I, I appreciate you for, for keeping the monster cereals coming, but that was really upsetting for me two years ago. And that was my main, my main thing that I wanted to, to rant about, that, that little flub two years ago that was kind of a big deal for some of us that when they brought out Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brute and they botched it. I'm hoping someday they'll do it right, do it again and do it right. I'm not going to hold my breath. It's very unlikely we'll ever see those cereals again. But, uh, yeah, that was extremely disappointing. So here's another look at these uh, Target exclusive boxes for this year. Um, last year, the, uh, the uh, regular boxes were actually designed by DC Comics artists. Um, I'm not sure if they did anything with the regular boxes this year. I did have three boxes. We already went through pretty fast uh, of the uh, regular ones, which you could get at Walmart or other other stores like that. Um, Target always has their own exclusives. They're usually retro boxes, and uh, like the ones I just showed you. Uh, these are the ones for this year. I'm not sure what the idea is behind these. They're not actually... Uh, reprints as far as I know they're just exclusive boxes and they're pretty cool I like them um, like a better of uh, fruit brut and yummy mummy were in there with their original flavors also but yeah these are these are some nice boxes they have build uh, monsters cast the monsters castle on the back there you just have these like cut out pieces I guess you can build the castle and there's one for each of these guys there's uh, all these cutout pieces, and of course Count Chocula also has them. And you can put it together and make the castle, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, so you know these are the these are the Target exclusive boxes. I just I just like tend to like the look of the Target exclusive boxes better. But uh, yeah, you can get these monster cereals at at most places that sell sell cereal. I've seen them at Walgreens, I've seen them at Walmart, I've seen them at HEB, which is a big chain here in Texas. It's kind of the chain that has uh, gets most most uh, shoppers here in Texas. Walmart's probably number two. And uh, so yeah, that's that's about it. Um, I get these every year. I do recommend them. A lot of people taste them for the first time these days. They do not like them. I don't know why. I'm just going on these YouTube videos I've seen. But um, I grew up with them. They were better when I was a kid. But they're still pretty good. I like them. I love them with old 80s cartoons, of which I have many on DVD and many downloaded. So, And they're good with the old hol holiday specials. I like to watch The Worst Witch, the original, with Feruza Balk and Tim Curry, with a bowl of Frankenberry, or Count Chocula, or Booberry. And uh, Sleepy Hollow, uh, the Disney Sleepy Hollow, all that good stuff. Bugs Bunny's Halloween special, Garfield, of course the Great Pumpkin, but 
especially for these cereals, those monster uh, cartoons, uh, Drac Pack is a cartoon from the 70s I used to love, and uh, goes great on Halloween with a bowl of cereal, so uh, anyway, that's that. And for those of you who stayed to the end of the video, you get a little sweet little toy review. Really quickly. I'm not doing too many toy reviews anymore because uh, I'm not doing too many toy reviews anymore because there's so many people who get these toys way ahead of time. But uh, here's something that I think is important to let people know. This is a good dinosaur toy that I just picked up. And the good dinosaur is a Pixar movie that uh, is coming out in November. I'm a huge Disney fan, huge Disney fan, and uh, that means I'm a huge Pixar fan because you gotta love Pixar. I mean, sometimes the Pixar movies are the best Disney movies of the year, and uh, they're almost always good. I mean, the Cars films could have been better. Other than that, you know, Pixar's always good. And uh, this uh, is the action figure of the good dinosaur. And I looked at a lot of good dinosaur toys that are coming out. This one is the action figure from the Disney store, and I kind of decided this is the best good dinosaur toy out there. Although they do have action figures about this size, maybe even a little bigger, at uh, Target, and uh, they look pretty good. I mean, maybe they're just as good as these. Uh, in, in some ways, they almost look better, but I, I just decided the Disney store ones are probably the best. If you buy the regular action figure at Target, you have to buy the little kid here separately. I believe his name is uh, Spot. The little boy's name is Spot. The dinosaur's name is Arlo. And uh, the dinosaur has a button on his back to make him bow his head here. But this is not the Target one. This is the Disney Store version. And the reason I, I thought I'd throw this into this little video is because if you buy this toy, uh, if you want to buy this toy and you wait till the movie's out, you're going to have a hard time finding some of these toys. Uh, I'm just going by... Uh, Inside Out. When Inside Out came out, I wanted the figure set with the multiple figures. And, uh, you know, they have they have tons of those at the Disney store from all different Disney movies. But um, Inside Out, they ran out of that one so fast. I went out there, I saw that movie the day came out, and I went straight to the Disney store that day. They were sold out of those. They never got any more in, as far as I know. If they did, then they were selling out the first day that they would un unbox them. But this is a good dinosaur action figure they have. I just thought I'd, uh, you know, get it get it early, so I wouldn't not be able to get anything. I'm I'm not saying this is gonna sell out. I really don't know. But they only had three of them, and uh, the other two had paint app problems I didn't like, especially around the eyes. So uh, I went with this one, and I'm glad I've got it. And I'm not worried now about whether or not I'll get a toy from uh, the good dinosaur. So here's. Arlo, and this is an action figure. You can move his legs. His tail is supposed to be bendable, but it's it's not very. I wish they had just left it hard, and they wouldn't have had to have these little cutouts on each side here. But, um... Uh, you know, I don't love the look of this big button on his back. And and if you remove the kid, he's got the, a, little, a little bump there for the kid to go on. So And you can put the kid down here next to him. He'll sit up right there, and, uh... You know, and that's cool, um, even though you've got these big bumps on Arlo's back now, which I don't love. And I, you might not have those with the regular action figure at Target, but I don't know. I just opted for the Disney Store when I thought it might be better quality. Sometimes it is with other toys, for sure. I did decide that the best toys for Inside Out were definitely those figures, and I compared a lot of toys. And, uh, you know... This is this is the, my favorite one that I've seen for this movie, especially since the kid comes comes with Arlo. You don't have to buy him separately. So yeah, this is my brief little not too great review of uh, of um, the good dinosaur toy. I'm just really just doing this to say, you know, be smart and go out and get your good dinosaur toys, whichever ones you want. Get them now because uh, you know these these are probably going to be really hot toys uh, in November. So yeah, you might want to jump on it. This was like twelve, twelve ninety nine or around there. It was it was twelve something uh, before taxes, and that's a, that's a pretty good deal these days. Uh, it's it's not huge. It's like I don't know what is that five inches high, but then it's longer. It's like six inch, seven six inches long, maybe maybe seven. 
I'm not good at that. But anyway, um, you know, he's he, usually stuff like this is like twenty bucks. I mean, the prices for toys have gone insane lately. But uh, yeah, that pink thing is is not part of the toy. There we go. Um, yeah, uh, I think this is a great little toy. I recommend getting it now. I think the movie's gonna be a huge hit. And I think the toys are going to be hard to get. And I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. But really this uh, video is about these cereals. Go out and get them because at the end of October, they're not going to be here anymore for a whole year. And here's hoping they don't decide to stop making them at some point. Love these cereals. And uh, General Mills, if you're out there, please give us Fruit Brute, the real Fruit Brute. Give it back, please. I, I don't really care too much about Yummy Mummy, but I would love Fruit Brute back and with its original flavors. And, you know, I wouldn't even mind some uh, action figures from these characters. That'd be cool. I missed out on the Funko Pops. It sucks. But anyway, okay, go out to your stores now. Get this stuff. Well, it's still there. It won't be there for long. Happy Halloween.